Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Odin Figuration here. And lots of major news coming in tonight. Um, these images are coming to you from the only Fox on Instagram. He was able to pick up the entire Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Apocalypse wave at his local comic shop in Montreal, Canada. So these showed up at a comic shop, of all places first. Um, what that has me thinking is the guy has connections and got the wave straight from the dis distribution in China or something like that because these images are coming from Canada. They're not coming from China, they're not coming from Singapore, they're coming from Canada. So that means they've reached the North America before anywhere else. So that's some major news. So I was thinking these these figures would show up, you know, a month or two from now. I'm thinking they're definitely going to be showing up around the time Avengers Infinity War uh, comes out. So I'm definitely expecting to find this wave because we're getting product images. I'm expecting to find this wave around uh, the end of May. That's definitely when these will be in Target and Walmart. Not gonna be at Toys R Us, but that's definitely when I think we're gonna find these figures. So let's just go ahead and dive into each one. Um, he gave me each image, and we'll go ahead and dive into them and check out how they look. First up, we'll take a look at Multiple Man, and the only thing I gotta say I'm <clears throat> disappointed in is his arms, the coat arms. Um, I just know that those are gonna hinder his articulation, and it's just kind of a letdown. He does come with extra heads, but it's not pictured in this image. And he does he does come with two heads, so three heads in total, and a pair of, I believe, trigger hands. So I am really happy with this figure, but those arms are let down. And I definitely will be, <laughs> I definitely will be army building this guy, along with everybody else. Next up, we'll take a look at Storm, and she looks like a solid figure. But the only thing I'm a little disappointed in is just, I, I, I want a regular classic 90s Jim Lee Storm. Like, please give that to me, Hasbro. <laughs> um, but this figure looks pretty cool. I, I do like the fact that it's the punk, punk rock Storm from like the 80s and stuff like that. Uh, it's a really cool figure. I'm looking forward to getting this. Um, I do kind of want to find a, a different head. You know, I, I would like her to have more hair. Uh, maybe I'll sculpt some on there myself, but... I am excited about this figure, um, it will be a really cool casual one, we could put um, the Okoye head on there and see how that looks, and then the Nakia, and then we could have a casual Nakia, that'd be really cool. So I am looking forward to getting this figure just for the casual look, but I still want my Jim Lee Storm. And next up we have Psylocke, and Psylocke I'm excited about buying because I don't have to spend 100 bucks or more to buy some custom action figure. So thank you Hasbro for finally putting this figure out. Um, I'm super excited about getting this one. She does look like an awesome figure. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed in, and I'll have to see how it is once I get it in hand, is her face. Um, I really want to put the silk head on there. I don't know how I feel about that head, so I'll have to wait till I get the figure in hand. But I really do like her scythe and her uh, side blade that's on her other hand. So I am looking super forward into getting this figure. And next up we got Gladiator. Now Gladiator, I'm personally really happy about him being re-released because I do have a custom head that I painted for this figure and it looks really good so I do want to do the head swap there. But I also sold my Gladiator a long time ago for like 90 bucks and I'm super looking forward uh, to getting this figure again. Um, so it is a reissue of the STCC, um, I believe it was the Thanos Imperative, or not Thanos Imperative, was it Thanos Imperative or Galactus Imperative? It's Thanos Imperative, yeah. Um, he did come in that set, so I am looking forward to getting him again. Next up, we got Magneto. Now a lot of people were disappointed in this Magneto, but I, I'm personally happy about it. Um, it's different. It's not the traditional Magneto, but I'm still happy with that. Um, I do want to put a belt on him, though. He looks kind of naked without a belt. Um, but I am super stoked about this. I do want to get maybe two or three of this figure so I can do an all red one. And then I want to get another one and do the all black and white version of Magneto. So I'm, I'm excited about getting this figure. Um, he looks really good. The articulation looks solid. Uh, the cape looks 
like I want to get a cloth cape, you know. That actually is a good idea to get a cloth cape and cut off that and use the uh, the top plastic and cover up the cape and have a cloth one. That'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting this figure. And one of the best parts is he comes with the alternate head. Now it's not the best head, but hey, it's an alternate head. It's un unhelmeted Magneto. <clears throat> which I'm super excited about getting um, with a little paint here and there it'll look like a really good figure so um, I'm super excited about getting this figure he seems like he's coming with a lot of accessories and this wave is just gonna be phenomenal and now we'll take a look at Sabretooth and I wish he, <laughs> I wish you did I wish he did a better pose on the Sabretooth but regardless of that fact this is gonna be an amazing figure to get um, I'm so looking forward to getting this figure. I do think I want to do some mods thinking about it right now I might want to do a mod with the toy biz one and this one that would be really cool to have the articulated fingers and everything like that But I am looking forward to this figure. He does look amazing. The sculpt looks dope It looks like it's the same sculpt as the Colossus that just came out so it'll have a pretty good height to it and the head sculpt looks great. I don't remember if he comes with any alternate heads, but that head sculpt right there looks really good. I'll be using that for sure. Um, but I am very excited about getting this figure. Um, he is one of my favorite villains. He's just excellent. And you know what? He'll look really good. Uh, he'll look really good matched up to that Logan coming out with the, uh, the motorcycle and the wife beater. Yeah, they'll look really good next to each other. Um, you can have them doing some Canadian fights. And speaking about Wolverine, let's go ahead and take a look at him. And again, I wish he took a better picture, a better pose of this figure. But I am super excited about getting this figure. That head sculpt looks great. The little grin that he, he's got going on is going to be awesome. He's got butterfly joints. The yellow's looking really bright, uh, really accurate to the comics. So excited about getting this Tiger Stripes Wolverine. I mean, there's not much else to say. It's the same figure as the... Uh, the juggernaut wave and the uh, the retro wave that was just released it's gonna be the same sculpts uh, same size and everything the only thing different is gonna be the uh, the boots and the or not even the boots actually uh, just the head sculpt so I'm super looking forward to getting this figure and last but not least the big badass himself apocalypse now for me personally I'm very excited about getting this figure but he has to be tall he has to be as tall or taller than Onslaught. Now, if he's not, that's going to be a little disappointing. Um, somebody did point out that he was, like, as tall as Cable, and that would suck. But, I mean, it makes sense because Apocalypse does grow and shrink on command. He, you know, he could fluctuate his size any way he wills. So, it makes sense that he could be that size. But I do wish that he was a bigger figure. He has to be the size of, of uh, Onslaught. So I don't have any side-by-side -side comparisons of Apocalypse next to him, next to any of these figures. But I am super excited about getting this figure, super excited about getting this wave. And like I said in the beginning, he found this wave in his local comic shop, which really makes no sense. But that's freaking amazing. I'm going to go ahead and hit up my comic shop tomorrow to pre-order them. Um, but let's go ahead and look forward to this wave. I definitely think it's going to be dropping around the time um, Avengers Affinity War hits. So I think it's going to be being... So I think it's going to come out in about two months. We're definitely going to be able to... So I definitely think it'll be coming out in two months, around the end of May. Um, around that time is when I think we'll be able to start finding this wave at Walgreens, at Walmart, at Target. Um, so that's two months from now. Since we got product shots and everything like that, I definitely see us getting these waves in two months. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. In the next couple weeks, I am doing a giveaway for the 12 inch Marvel Legends Thor. And after photo combat that's going on right now, I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway for the pop-up diorama and dojo. So if you guys are interested in anything like those, you guys should definitely subscribe. Definitely leave a like, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys next time. Hey.